This is the Polycom Skype for Business phone. It's the model VVX411. Um, it's for Skype for Business. I have a power over Ethernet PoE, so I just plug that into my uh, Ethernet network location there and uh, plugged it in. It uh, went through auto updates for a while, I think the first time I plugged it in. Uh, but now I'm able to sign in using user credentials and uh, I'm able to fill this out. A couple things while I'm filling it out. Uh, if you need to do the uh, sign in address for Office 365, it's uh, you know your name at uh, you know domain.onmicrosoft.com or at domain.com. Uh, in this case, it's domain.com because I have the DNS set up. So I do the at sign, I press the number one. Oops, I messed up. I can go back and delete. So I can hit this number one all the way over to ampersand. And then I can do uh, at and then domain. And the dot is gonna be the star. And then uh, we go down our domain. This is also your uh, the suffix of everything after your username for your sign in. So it's either at you know domain.com or at uh, domain or sorry domain.onmicrosoft.com. So in our case, we have the um, DNS entries all set up for uh, Office 365, and so we can just do uh, our domain.com. All right, and then the user. Uh, this is the uh, front part of your sign in address. So the uh, username. And then your password. One note on the password, a lot of uh, uh, Office 365 passwords have different casing. So if you take a look at the uh, numbers, you can see there's no uppercase there. Uh, so if you go to encoding and you can go down to the caps, it'll do it for the first character. And then after I'm done, I thought it goes back down. You can go back to encoding and set it back to uh, regular small case. And once your password's in, you can hit more, and you can go to sign in. And this will sign you in. Uh, goes to Office 365 servers. Uh, one note, um, I'm not setting this up as anything complicated, like a Microsoft Team Room or anything like that. I just have a user account created for my phone, and um, I'm calling it Conference Room Phone. Uh, in the future, I might have Microsoft's Teams room or something more fancy. And so I wanted to reserve the word, you know, conference room um, for a new user account or anything like that. Uh, one thing I haven't been able to figure out is the uh, correct time up here. Uh, that's flashing. Uh, I checked my time zone, it is correct. Um, however, I think daylight savings time needs to be uh, enabled or disabled, and I don't see that feature. Uh, so it's a problem for Californians and uh, everybody over here in the Pacific time zone. Um, so now that I'm signed in, uh, you can see some things uh, synchronizing up here in the top uh, right, you know, contacts and whatnot. Um, I did log into this account uh, through the web browser, um, through a private browsing session, and I was able to um, add in uh, some contacts. Uh, in that outlook.com account. So that way 
when I come to this phone, I can see everybody in my organization that I uh, want to get a hold of, um, and they're added, you know, to my contacts list. So I don't have to search for their name each time. Um, it's going to be a bit of a chore to remember to update it, but at least in this case, it kind of works for now for the, uh, the people here that I want to contact directly. Uh, so let's see the phone. If I hit home, I can go to calendar. Um, I do have a meeting scheduled. I'm surprised it's not popping up yet. I think it's still syncing, so it might take a little bit of time to sync. You can see tomorrow, Saturday, you can go back. Ah, there it is. I went back. So this is my first meeting. Uh, if I want to join this meeting, I can click into it and then hit join. And this will uh, dial me in. And I'm on the call. So that's why I like this. I was able to create a, a Skype invite, Skype for business invite, type in conference room phone uh, as this user account and invite them to all my meetings. And anytime I want to come into this conference room, I can just uh, walk in and hit join. Uh, I don't have to uh, fiddle with a, a dial in number or anything like that. Uh, so I can end my meeting. Um,